The rumor mill is going crazy with Pokemon Generation 9 on the horizon and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So let's dive in and catch you up on all the leaks and rumors. Let's do it. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today, and today we are diving into all of the rumors and leaks going on in the Pokemon community for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in Generation 9. And I'm gonna get you guys caught up because there's been some crazy things that have gone down over the last few days. Ever since I posted that video about the Castanet Scorpion, which was pretty sick as well. But let me tell you, you do not wanna miss this one. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you guys about a very, very cool theory that may lead us to what the evolutions are going to be for Sprigatito, Fue Coco, and Quaxley. And I'm on board, so I think you guys should definitely watch the whole thing. Like the video if you guys enjoy it, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you don't miss out. We're gonna dive into all of the leaks and everything you need to know for Scarlet and Violet right here, right now. Before we dive in, I need to tell you guys something. During my Pokemon Legends Arceus Marathon, my buddy PokeAimMD was here, and I couldn't help but notice just how good he smelled. I asked him, I'm like, Joey, what's going on, man? Why do you smell so good? And he told me all about Dr. Squatch, who's our sponsor for today's video. While I'm telling you more, you guys can enjoy some shower shots of me using Dr. Squatch. And just remember, this is the closest you'll ever get to my only dance, so enjoy it while you have it. Dr. Squatch is legit changing the way men like us approach hygiene with high performing, natural, healthy products to make you smell like an absolute legend. I'm not joking, their soaps are phenomenal and I was really blown away by how well the Dr. Squatch deodorant held up. Between us, I've struggled for years to find a long lasting, good smelling deodorant and I'll tell you, Dr. Squatch is wife approved. I smell pretty good. My favorite soap is the Gold Moss Bar, which I would show you if I could, but I've actually used it all. It feels like I just stepped out of a natural spring in the middle of the forest, but they've got tons of great soap scents like pine tar and cedar citrus, so you can smell like the man you are destined to be. And the biggest difference with Dr. Squatch is it's all natural. They're super transparent about the ingredients that they use, and your skin deserves the best. That other nonsense that mommy bought for you at the store just does not stack up to how great Dr. Squatch is. Right now, new customers can get 20% off your next order of $20 or more by using code DSQADRIVE, and you can click the link in the description below. I'm serious, Dr. Squatch is a product worth using designed specifically for men. So don't miss out on this deal right now and start smelling great and feeling amazing. Big shout out to Dr. Squatch for sponsoring today. I'm definitely a customer for life and I can't wait to get my next order. You should too. Check the link in the description below. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is this post. And this post has gained a tremendous amount of traction in the PokeLeaks community and all over Twitter. I got this DM to me, I got tagged in a bunch of times and everything like that. The reason why is because it was posted by this account one month ago prior to the reveal of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So hang with me on this. I work at a company that Game Freak outsources some of their graphics to. While we don't get much information about the games themselves, I've seen some assets that are new, mainly 2D images for in-game pictures and clothing patterns. The game's clothes are purple and orange, so I originally thought these would be Sun and Moon remakes, but the region is definitely in Iberia from the map I've seen. Some, possibly, question mark, new mons I've seen are a green cat that turns into a lion, starter, an orange ant with fire pincers that, like Combi, has a female queen ant Evo, a dolphin with a crescent moon tail, which seems to be a single stage, a red dragon with a white mask, which ends up quadruped and looks like a red slash green pepper lizard, might be a pseudo legendary, it reminds me of Applin's Evos, and a blue duck that turns gray that has a mohawk, a gold and purple scorpion, also single stage. I'll update more when I see it. So as you can imagine, people see this and they see it's from a month ago and they're like, yo, this has to be real. How else would this person know all these things? The colors orange and purple for the two characters in Scarlet and Violet, the green cat, which is obviously the starter. Then you've got the reference to Fue Coco, the red dragon with the white mask, ends up quadruped, and then a blue duck that turns gray with a mohawk. These are all the starters with other things weaved in, right? And again, this has gained a tremendous amount of traction. I see over 150 comments on this post right now, 470 upvotes on PokeLeaks right now on this one version of it, and it was posted a dozen times. Um, and then they talk about the orange ant with fire pincers and so on and so forth. So the thing I wanna say is, first and foremost, there's a few things to point out here. One is we don't have an actual link to this post. We have a screenshot of it, which means that it could have been Photoshopped or inspect elemented and kind of edited. The second thing is someone actually commented, uh, Stokow 
commented last night and said, the initial thread that came up, I did some digging. It looks like this was Photoshop. The guy never posted it and deleted all this other stuff. It seems as though this guy actually works in a pizza shop and he's deleted parts of his history and then goes on to show this Imgur post, which shows some of the guy's kind of comments that he's posted from last month and the last few months talking about their thoughts in Pokemon and things of that nature, which really leads this to most likely be fake, right? I think at that point with the guy's history, the fact that we don't really have anything to trace back on this post, I'm gonna slap the fake stamp on it as well. And I'm gonna give you guys that. I do not think this is real. Um, while it is very convincing, obviously, I think that this person was simply feeding things that you know we kind of knew that would prove them legit. And also some other new things that maybe we haven't heard of. But given their history, there's no reason to believe this to be real. So again, I'm going to be covering this kind of stuff, the, the stuff that really gains traction, so that way you know moving forward. The next thing I want to talk about is very important. There's this account called The Sneedler, okay? I'm not going to put the guy's name on the screen or anything like that, or we're going to blur it out or whatever. So this guy, The Sneedler, was gaining a ton of traction over the last few days, getting shouted out by other accounts, gaining a lot of traction. Uh, posting these different riddles about Tauros getting evolutions and all this different stuff, right? Like it was very obvious that this person was trying to be a Riddler, right? Trying to be Riddler coup, trying to gain some traction because these people find this as an open door to gain internet cloud, essentially. The biggest red flag to me is when people like this tag me. Listen, if you're posting leaks and you're tagging me and Ruffled Rowlet, it's clear to me that you're just looking for attention. Like, that's very, very obvious. It's one thing if someone tags me in a post, like, yo, A-Drop, what do you think about this? It's another thing when someone creates a post and then tags me in it. Because it's like, really? what? Then the guy DMs me, and I'm like, listen, I actually kind of want to look at the DM because it's funny. I'm not going to show you guys the DM, but let me pull it up real quick because it's actually hilarious. Oh, it actually seems like the guy, the guy actually deleted it and deleted his account now that I look at it. Uh, <laughs> it's actually funny, he deleted his account. So there you go, I was looking at a screenshot before. Um, seems like he just straight up said goodbye. I'll see you guys later. Um, yeah, well that's, there's that. But there was other accounts kind of popping up to try to be like this guy. But anyway, he DM'd me and he was, I was like, listen, uh, what do you want about? Are you looking for me to come cover you for some clout? And I guess here I am covering him, but his account's gone. So it doesn't really matter anymore. So I thought that was funny. Anyway, we're gonna be moving forward, so don't trust that guy. And if there's anything like substantial, you guys know I'm gonna cover it here. And I'll give you my honest takes, whether it's real, whether it's fake, whether I don't know, you know, whatever. But it seems like a lot of stuff has popped up lately as people try to, uh, I guess, get whatever internet points they can, I don't know. I just have fun talking about this stuff, so you're not doing any harm to me, I'm just enjoying it. But this is a really, really good post here. This was posted by Galaxy Star on Reddit. And they talk about this, and they said, I haven't seen this uh, brought up uh, anywhere else, so I'm gonna talk about it. I think the starters could possibly allude to San, uh, San George, I think that's how you say it, San George and the Dragon, which is a myth widely known in Spain. Spain even has a St. George's Day that centers around the tale. I think it's possible the starters could be one of the three main characters in the tale, Sprigatito being the princess, Fuecoco being the dragon, and Quaxley being St. George himself. If this is true, I think Sprigatito would evolve into a grass and fairy type. Coco would probably be Fire Dragon, but there are versions where the dragon spews venom, so maybe Fire Poison is possible as well. And I think Quaxley could be Water Steel or Water Fighting, as he's seen as the heroic knight in this legend. And I find this fascinating because things like this very much so have possibility to become real. Like, when you think back to the X and Y days, and that's actually what Hockey Burner here comments saying, X and Y, generally these starters fit themes nowadays, right? The X and Y starters have the theme of like the mage and, and you got the warrior uh, and then the kind of assassin, right? So there's kind of like that trio in terms of like RPG classes. Um, and th there's just been different themes that have kind of gone on over the years of the starters. So I feel like there is a possibility here that this could be a sign or a pointer to what these three starter Pokemon could turn into. Essentially Sprigatito being the princess and maybe turning into some sort of like a princess uh, cat. Uh, then you've got obviously uh, Foycoco being the dragon in the lore and then um, Quaxley being you know kind of St. George or the heroic knight in this tale. I find it fascinating and I think it's actually a really cool thing to keep in the back of our minds as we go through this league season as we go towards the reveal of these starter evolutions. I feel like this is something worth noting and worth coming back to because I think it could come to fruition for sure. <laughs> 
So that's that. We covered the rumors. We covered the Sneedler fake account, which very clearly was just fishing for clout. And then we talked about this incredible rumor uh, about kind of what these starters could be. I shouldn't even say rumor. It's more of a theory. And you guys got to watch the sh shower scene as I use Dr. Squatch, which by the way, phenomenal. Check the description below for some love for Dr. Squatch. Seriously, you guys will not regret it. I use it every day. It is phenomenal. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.